All right, Alico 3 here, and this package came in yesterday, so we're going to film it in different segments. Uh, 500 cards, roughly. Well, I mean, I think it's right at 500, and then there's probably some that weren't slabbed because there always is. So uh, we'll sift through these um, and kind of see how this order went. Lots of variety. I think all the sports are covered, so let's have some fun with this one. All right, here we go. We've got uh, lots to see. <laughs> Lindor, uh, this is the uh, Tops update. So, very coveted set. Of course, the the Trout's kind of propped the prices up for for other years and other players, but they are good players in their own right. So, here's Francisco. And then uh, this is the Tops update. Same card, number 10. So the uh, no sparkle under glove basically means uh, there's no sparkle under the glove. But um, that is an SSP, and it's just kind of weird. It's like a star that's sitting under underneath his mitt. So it's interesting. Here's another 10. Um, it's kind of my expectation on these were 9s and 10s. It it can be somewhat of a, uh, I think it can be a little bit tricky, this set. So there are a, a ton of them that just start just dinged up, and they're probably like sevens and eights. So don't just think if you pull one straight from the pack, it's going to be a nine or a ten because it's a very deceptive set, in my experience. Um, I think there's one more. So you know we did pretty good. Got some nines. What's this one? Okay, so this is one that I'll probably stop sending these in because I, I don't really know. I don't really need to get an eight in this that bad. But this is the Bowman draft. It's just a black bordered thin paper stock. So these uh, really get hammered. I think this one's a little off center. So that's that's my own fault. Um, this is Bowman. This is the Prospect Scrum. Very cool. Just a classic base chrome rookie of a fantastic player who's starting to compile some pretty impressive numbers. And I think he's only like 25 still, so should be a long storied career, barring injury, which you can say that for any player. Uh, here's a chrome 999. That's just the heritage. I believe that's the heritage high number. I don't think they put, they just don't have room to put all that on there. I guess they could put HN, but I don't know. I think I'm thinking too much into it. Mint nine on that one, and then uh, this is really cool. I'd say this is one of the cooler cooler cards in the order. Um, the orange refractor. This is the 25 on the back there. So this is Bowman Chrome 15. Beautiful. Nice shine. Cool photo. <clears throat> so I bought. A huge lot of Frank Thomas's. Uh, I think I bought 100 of them from a seller, and they just came. You don't normally see this, but they were just really, really crispy. Honestly, they looked like nines and tens the whole stack. But I know PSA grades these junk wax cards tough. So, but nines good. It's a good grade. So, <laughs> I think that's Baylor. He's tagging out. <laughs> Those uniforms aren't. Aren't too impressive, but it was like 89, right? And they took that picture. And here's another one. I'm, I would imagine most of these are going to be just uh, nines on the f junk wax stuff. It's kind of how PSA grades them. <laughs> so um, I don't know if they look off center to you guys. I mean, everybody has a different eye. So like that one looks perfect, perfectly centered. Uh, don't see any corner problems. Or any stains on the front either. So I mean, that's it's kind of what a gem mint card is. But all right, some more updates. So here's a couple more tens. And I think going forward, this would be a good card. You know, it, it's a good card now, but I think it'll be should jump up in value somewhat. We'll, we'll kind of see. Maybe his market's somewhat limited playing with Cleveland, but.
Here's a judge. This is Bowman Chrome. He's just his base rookie. Another update. So sorry for the monotonous Lindor updates. But I, I just had a lot of them I wanted to send in, and they looked good. So there's a 10 on this one. And then we've got Hoskins. I think his stuff's kind of gone down the tubes, but I mean, he's still a good player. He just had it's a tough second half. <clears throat> Bowman Chrome Adrian. So this is cool. This is uh, 2007 Bowman Chrome. And then another Lindor update. So we did very well on the Lindor updates. Bunch of 10s and 9s. Stoked for that. Probably gonna just keep keep the Lindors. Maybe sell a couple of nines, a couple of tens, but uh, Ultra Moss. So this is the series two, or the high number. Cool photo. Love that photo. Mid nine on that one. We've got Zenith Z Team. Cool insert. It's from 95. This was off Comsi, I think. And it just happened to look decent. Most of the time when I buy Comsi cards, they're like 7s and 8s. I mean, they just, I just don't send them in because there's just obvious corner dings or st weird stuff going on. Just Cards on Comsi have been through the ringer for the most part. Uh, here's some paper Wander Francos. So <coughs> I don't think this set is a uh, gimme because the card stuck so thin and they just come out of the pack dinged but I also don't think they're overly difficult either so I think there's more of these here's some of the chromes chromes are cool so here's some chromes um, I would just watch out for scratches it's kind of the main thing with these and I don't, I don't even know how tough PSA looks at scratches anymore because they gave a bunch of the 18 prism stuff that I think is scratched on the back tens so I don't know here's another one uh, the prospects chrome base here's, here's a cool one uh, update Yelich there might be some more in this order although I think for the most part they should be grouped together because before I send these orders and I sort them into stacks so I can type them into the spreadsheet easier in terms of quantity but here's an update yellow in a nine uh devers base top scrum in a ten this is the prospect auto of victor robles so um i think he's had a pretty good season you know but being a good player is different from being va valuable in the hobby and a lot of people have probably I think stop buying him because his stuff's lower now but um I think he's like 240 325 with a bunch of steals and some homers so I mean it's only like 21 or 22 so people just uh very fickle in this hobby uh this is the blue 1099 and an 8 so this was a com c card too just a cool little parallel this was actually from a pack Thought it looked like an eight or a nine, but pulled this out of a Bowman's Best Box. Very cool to pull your own card, especially once a cool insert and and one of your favorite players of all time. So the super rookie. It's not really a rookie, but that's the refractor too. Uh, here's a Robles Bowman Chrome and a ten. This is neat. Team Tomorrow. Cool insert. Is that 95 Pinnacle? 96 Pinnacle. Very cool. That's a mid 9. So that's another Comsi. And a mid 9. This is the 99 Finest Refractor. Very cool. Uh, Vlad Jr. Whoops, we got to the Jeter score too soon. Uh, Vlad Jr. 
ready for the show. Jeter score. Uh, one of these was pack pulled, I think. Like I can't remember, but mint nine. That's kind of what I was looking for. Eight fives, and you know, if I if I did get a ten, that'd be cool. But I don't really expect that. So a nice solid nine on this score, and then another nine. So very solid. Here's a classic four sport. Mint nine. That's from ninety two, so like one of his first cards for sure. <clears throat> nice pinnacle. And that one's beautiful, guys. For the most part it's looks centered. Um let's check the back. Nothing really weird going on back there. Just that top left corner has got a little speck of white, so. Presents like a 9 plus. And ready for the show. <clears throat> I'm going to grab a drink. Monster. <laughs> All right, next up on the chopping block, this pup. Let's grab these slabs. Oh, sweet. We've got LeBron. Is that the star rookie? Love the star rookie. Mint nine on it, too. Awesome photo. Plus, if, if you watch the videos, I, I'm always buying, like, the football star rookies from this era, so... This is definitely one of my favorite LeBrons. Here's a Cunha. This is uh, his prospect chrome from 17 Bowman. It's a 10. This is kind of neat. So Bregman, this was off of ComC. And that's out of 25. So 2016 Tops Pro debut. This is the orange parallel. You could kind of I would view this as a rookie, um, although it's true rookies or whatever are 2017 with, with the logo, but I mean, it's kind of his first year having cards because uh, 2015 Bowman draft did not include him. I think they just wanted to save him for the next year. Here's his base in a nine. It's a pro debut. <clears throat> Very cool. So I think this set's tough. They're just so scratched up. And this chrome is warped a lot. If you guys have, have you guys have ever noticed that with this set? Nine's pretty good. He's, st he's starting to compile some hits, too. And there's the, uh, the male model right there. Chipper 91 score. There's a couple of these. Mid nine. Not shabby at all with those. Uh, these are from PAX. Broke some boxes of this stuff. Fun break, too. Not sure what the pop is on this one. Probably 20%, somewhere in that range. And then here's probably some more 9s. <laughs> Any card, like, in the 90s or 80s is an auto 9 at this point. That one's really nicely centered. Better than this one. Just trying to observe these. This is cool. Probably like a dollar off a of A Couple of these, so. I'll put one in the store and I'm gonna keep one because I like David Ortiz cards. So. That's 99 finest. Um, his rookie's 97, but it's an early one. Still in the Twins uniform. This would be a second year. This is actually a nice grade. I mean, very good, so. That's a promising forecast from 98 Fleer.
Here's 98 Bowman and a 9. And it does say the rookie card on it. Love that one. Uh, 99 upper deck. Kind of like sliding. That looks like he's sliding to third base or something, but I meant 9 on this one. That's nice. Uh, Arenado update. And a 10. And then, uh, is there some papers coming up? Here's some papers. Right to 10, left a 9. This is the, uh, must just be the, the regular Bowman. Yeah. And, uh, one more. Couple of these pups. Nine and a ten. Tops Pro Debut 2010 Arenado. Very cool cards. Very good so far. Here we go. That's awesome. So, Upper Deck MVP LeBron in a 10. Beautiful. Could have been a Beckett 9 5 snap out. I just I can't remember every card, but I know I tend to do that sometimes. Oh, wow. That's nice. 98 Rookies and Stars, Randy. Um, I always love this card. It's also kind of a tough pull, so. Beautiful. Here's a Junk Wax 10. A rare Junk Wax 10 on this channel. Just uh, pulled it from a pack. Beautiful. It's got the net hat on. Uh, ben Intendi. This is the blue refractor to 150 on the back there. And I got a 10. Although I do think this set can be somewhat of a challenge. The uh, Chrome Draft 15 stuff. Here's Mookie. Um, I think there's a couple of these. So Most of the ones that I see, so these were fortunate to get 10s, but most of the ones I see are uh, scratched. So that's kind of the main thing I see with this card. These were kind of the only clean copies that I've come across. So they get not really much else that can go wrong with that set. Um, okay, Mookie Pro Debuts. A couple nines on the Pro Debuts. That's 2014. Cool card. In the uh, Salem Red Sox uniform. That's neat. Tops update Mookie in a 10. Beautiful. Cool photo. Uh, 92 Bowman Pedro. That's awesome. This card's going up too. Not sure what the pop is, but definitely like it. Um, man, we're really killing it with these older cards right now. These are Don Russ the Rookies. I think I bought a huge lot of these. Just kind of picked the ones that look good. So, 92 Don Russ the Rookies. Pedro. A couple tens on those. Now we've got a really tough set. This is the star rookie from 92 with the uh, puffy afro for out of the back. A 
A uh, couple more. A couple tens. Nice. Beautiful. Royce Lewis, Chrome Base, in a 10. Uh, a couple of these, Griffin Cannings. These are 10s. Bowman Chrome Draft, Base Auto. The rookie for the Angels. Anderson Tata. Texas prospect in a 10. Here's Jazz. Jazz Chisholm. And a Nolan Gorman. <coughs> Looks like the surface got scratched. Definitely presents like an 8. Okay, um, what else? Oh, cool. There's some uh, vintage in this one, too. Here's Phil. So that one is obviously off center. Like, I, w I would never expect this to be a gem mat. It's just the, the center is just not there. It's more like 65 35. But I would, I would say this could pass as a 9. So, Philip base tops in a 9. Uh, Mauricio, that's the Atomic. Just a pack pulled. Or I, I think I got this in a lot. But could be a good player. I don't know. He's he's so young. Uh, Judgy. That's the Bowman Chrome. I think we saw this earlier. But a 10. I, I think this set's pretty easy. Just check your surface. I mean, you, I guess you could have a ding here or there. But the car stack's really strong. Here's some more of these Franks. So... I think they're all going to be nines. And these, you know, I sent these in because I thought a bunch of these would be tens. Um, but the, the junk wax is just tough, guys. So, I don't know if, if you guys see something I'm missing with these, just put it in the comments and maybe it'll help me going forward. But I just don't know what to say about these. It's kind of like the last order when I had all those uh, 89 Bowman Griffies. And they just got assigned nine, so I don't know. It's very uh oh shit. A couple tens, so I guess they tossed in some tens for uh good good measure on these. Cause honestly guys, these all are are the same condition. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, they were from the same seller, same stack, and when I looked them over they all looked the same. So I don't it was weird. Here's some more nines. It's like they were just cut from the factory or something. You, you just don't see cards that clean pop in front of you that often. So here's some more nines. Very monotonous, but we are moving pretty f quickly through these. So uh, Last one. So There's a few tens. I don't know what this card's worth, 40 or 50 in a 10. But, I mean, I think it's pretty tough. So especially straight from the pack for the most part they're usually off center oh, here we go Leaf Frank love this one so 1990 Leaf Frankie solid mint 9 Here's the, let's look at the back very cool this is neat couple of bows uh, Bo Jackson, 87 Fleer rookie. It just looks so cool, the the blue background of the card with the blue powders. So these are just from uh, packs. Pack fold mint nines. And then uh, another nine. Very good. We have got a Mickey Mantle so random vintage jumping in but uh 67 tops and a 5 don't know how I got this card I think I just bought it raw but it looks pretty good it's got good centering
And uh, you would think it's not trimmed, but I don't know. Let's see how it fits in the slab. That's something you have to question with all these older cards now. Um, I don't think this is that good a grade for this set because I think you're looking more for a seven than a set like this. But the '73 tops, Hank Aaron. This this, is, this isn't his last card, is it? No, he's got cards after this. I think he does. Yeah. I think 75 or something. Uh, love this one. It's kind of a rough three. I don't think I don't think you guys will be able to catch it like I can when I'm sitting in person holding it. But crease there, crease there. Paper, not paper loss, but surface issue. Thin corners. I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm not a grading expert for the older stuff, but this could definitely be a two as well. So, but it's still. A, a Reggie rookie, so beautiful card. And then this will be a nine for sure. Uh, Bowman, nineteen ninety, Frankie. Cool photo. Look at that smile. It's a look of a guy about to hit three thirty with thirty bombs, hundred RBIs. Uh, all right, let's get to the next box. All right, moving on. This is a pro debut 2019 Eloy Jimenez to 50 uh, mid 9 solid rookie season I think he ended with about 30 home runs uh, 260 260 to 270 average uh, he's only what 22 or 23 so we'll see Moss that's a Fleer tradition in a mid 9 Junk Wax Time, <laughs> Jim Tomei Leaf, a mid nine. That's a 95 Leaf. Here's a Schmidt from Don Ross 89 in a nine. Uh, Casey Mize, pro debut, black jersey. I think that's just the base one, though. But 10 on that one. Here's a nice one. Chipper Jones, 91 upper deck and a 10. Cool photo. I don't think this is the toughest set, considering the edges and bo borders and everything are white. Uh, Luis Robert, who uh, did not get called up this year, but I think he'll possibly start next season with the club, break camp with the White Sox. So a 10 on this one. Here's some 87s. Um, I mean, these are just, to actually get a 10, it's a, it's almost impossible, I think. But um, 87 Donruss, Maddox in a 9. And these were all just pulled from packs. Here's a nine. Maybe off center, top to bottom. I guess that they probably just gave me nines, yeah. Here's a couple more an eight and a nine. That one's off center, top to bottom. That one, too, I think. Last one, another nine, so solid. I mean, nine's good for this card. Uh, Correa, update catching, nine. And here's a Bonds. I always struggle with these two. So here's some eights. The 87 down response. That one's off center, top to bottom, pretty bad. Most times when I do this, I just I try to pick the ones that look the best, chipping and centering wise, right right to left. But um, I think that one's pretty bad, centering wise. So 
Probably won't send in much junk wax in the future. Here's some more. An 8 and a 9. Couple more nines, so yeah. I mean, anybody that collects this set or knows about this set, it's it's very difficult. Most of the copies you see raw are probably like sevens, just because it's black borders on the front and they're just they're chipped usually all the time or the dented. But <coughs> sorry guys, you got a cold. Uh, nines. So, it's kind of the way it goes with the junk wax. The effort was there, though. The effort was definitely there. That's kind of cool. Mondesi. Uh, this was a Beckett 9.5 snap out, but this is the blue wave to 50. Um, you know, his stuff was gaining traction around, like, April, May, but he just he got hurt too much and he didn't really perform at the level a lot of people anticipated after he ended the 2018 season. So, so we'll see. He's still a young player. Somebody to watch. Uh, 90 score, Frank. That's a 9. Rising Stars, Ken. That's from 1990. That, that's a cool one. I think this is a box set. Classic Series 3. Here's the 1990 Upper Deck. Griffey always taped his bat in that way. Is classic series two. So to me, it just seems like there's no leeway on these older junk wax cards from nines to tens. I think on the modern stuff, they hand out tens <laughs> nonstop. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like as a person sending cards in it's different here's a 10 and this could have very easily just been a 9 it looks like all the other 9's so I like this card though 91 leaf uh, Rifleman here's a cool one 91 upper deck it's a cool photo it's nice how they have that back photo running in from the outfield. Gem at 10 on that one. Um, so this is, uh, there are two different variations of this card. See how it says bat 300? There's one that says bat around 300, I believe. So this is the bat 300 version in a 9. It's like he just like grounded out to the pitcher or something. He's about to slam his bat down. I like this set a lot. Um, 92 Fleer. Of course, the uh, Fleer update has the Piazza, but here's the Kens. Um, Ten and a nine. They look about the same. And here's another nine in the Fleer. Uh, 92 score. We've got a couple of these ones, probably nines. We've got a nine in the Bowman. Second year Bowman Ken. And a 10 in the Bowman. Ninety two Stadium Club. That's a cool one. So I think I got all these Kens from a lot. I and I, I bought like hundreds of cards in a auction lot I just kind of went through them you know a lot of them were pretty beat up 
Here's some classic ones. So the 92 Classic Series 2 and the 91 Classic Series 3. Not the most highly sought after Kens, but still pretty cool. So 10 and a 10 on those two. Um, this is kind of cool. This is a 92 Classic Collector's Edition in a 10. Cool photo on that one. Classic made some pretty cool cards. They were never, I don't think, as popular as like tops and stuff. That one's scratched across the front. Just the case. Uh, that's a 92 Stadium Club. That's that's a cool thing they always did. They put like the first tops card or tops rookie on the back. I always like that about Stadium Club. Okay, so. Let's keep going. This was a cool card. Uh, 93 Ultra Manny. So this would be a second year Manny. It's just a cool pose. There's the back. Shohei. That's your base top scrum in a 10. These are interesting. Um... That one's off center. So that is the uh, correct photo. There's a version with, with, I believe, Johnny Ray on this card, which is an interesting mistake, but that's something that happens throughout the, the times with card companies. Um, and then here's another one in a nine. So not bad. This is the first time I'd ever sent this particular card in for grading. Um... Here's a Soto. I mean, these are pretty much automatic 10s, as long as you're not, like, scratched on the front. So that's top stuff. I think the pop on this is, like, 95%, so it's just ridiculously high. Um, Heritage. This is cool. 1990 Fleer. And th to me, this set just looks like it would be pretty easy. The way the cardstock is, it's all white. Here's a Junk Wax 10. Uh, Nolan Ryan, 1990 Fleer. That's cool. These were from a box break that I did. So here's a Moss. Just an awesome action photo. This was a, this is 99, so second year Randy. And then Peyton was in the box too, so I slabbed Peyton. Second year Peyton. So a couple tens on those. I don't, I don't think that set's very difficult. Uh, Gallo, there's his tops update. And a 10. Junk Wax. Maddox. PSA 10 on this one. Alright, here's here's the cows. Um so these were from a box that I broke. So this one got a mint nine. Um I don't know what the, what is that what's going on with that edge right there. I don't remember it being that way when I sent it off. And another nine, so one of these just looked absolutely perfect, just straight from the pack. So I might snap one of these and send it off to SGC just to get a, a fair shake on it. So a couple nines on the Ripkins. I was thinking, I was thinking one of these would be a ten. Um, Eddie Rosario. Here is a Rosario update rookie in a nine. That's cool. Couple Bagwells. Actually, just one. So Bagwell meant nine. That one's off center. Totally makes sense. Uh, Sandberg, 
94 tops. And here's an 8 on the 82 Donruss. I think that's centering issue right there, left to right. Couple of these. Those are mint nines on the 82 Donruss Diamond Kings. Those were just pack pulls. Okay, we've got some newer stuff. That is the base one. A couple of these. So 2018 Topps Chrome Devers base and a 10. This is the uh, 2019 Bowman Sterling Continuity Refractor of Trout. Um, Albies, 98 Best Performers. Nice shine on that one. Finest Base Devers. Nice one. That's kind of cool. That's the Matt Chapman Series 1 variation. Um, you get about one of these per hobby box, I think, on the uh, SPs. So That's Chrome Update Devers in a 10. Um, 98 Finest Moss in a 9. One of the easier sets to grade from this year. And this is a nice one. Fleer, tra Fleer Tradition Moss in a 10. Um, this is a somewhat valuable card in a 10. I think it's around 40 to 50 bucks. So I know raw it's about 3 or 4 bucks. What have we got? This is a nice one. Probably my favorite defensive player and a lot of people's favorite. Uh. Khalil Mack, <clears throat> this is the uh, leaning forward. I, I believe this is the base one, and there's also a variation with a different picture. But this one got a 10. On the 14 Panini Contenders. This is beautiful. So Peyton Bowman Chrome 98. And that's a 10. Don't think this set is overly difficult, but it's definitely not a gimme with all the scratching. This was from a box I broke on camera probably about six months ago, but 96 tops Chrome Harrison in a nine. So not bad on that one. Um, he should be in the Hall of Fame eventually. This one was kind of rough. I just I, I just wanted it slabbed. So this is a Vic SPX in an eight. It's just got some of the, the typical chipping you see with this set. A dark bolt, um, gold background lens to chipping pretty consistently here's crown in an eight that's numbered right there to 250 but it is on card and i've shown this card many times in past videos this one just has a lot of uh, chipping and edge wear so not the best copy but not bad either here's a 50 finest um this is one of the easier sets finest usually just grades pretty easily stronger card stock um, often you're just looking for the scratching. This is from a box break. So I was pretty stoked to get a mint nine on this bow. This is a classic card here. 1988 tops. Um, a little oil stain right there. Maybe the top to bottom is a little off. I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. So mint nine on this bow. I think this is a pretty big card in a 10 too. But nine. I'm stoked for a nine on that one. Uh, Rivers. We got the star rookie. Nice solid nine. Cool little photo with the ball on his helmet. And there's another one. This in a nine. A 
Skybox Premium Heinz Ward. Man 9. This is a tough set right here. Starburst Peyton in an 8. And this one has your obvious chipping. I think I was shooting for like an 8.5. But cool insert from uh, Skybox Thunder that they did. And then Bettis. This was just from a box of 93 tops I broke. It looks pretty good. So I'm at 9 on this Bettis. Neat card in the Rams uniform. Let's let's continue the party. All right, some 87 Fleer from boxes of that I broke. Here's Nolan in a nine. So I, I th I'm thinking I'm pretty good at finding PSA nine cards. <laughs> and there's a few tens that I find here and there, but here's a nine on Chipper. That one's off centered right to left, so that's pretty obvious. Love this set though, and love that photo. Here's a Dave Winfield. Um, this set's weird because most of them come out of the pack looking pretty much perfect. Maybe it's just the uh, centering that you got to watch out for, but it's tough to get a ten on this set too. So I don't. I'll I'll, I'll have to buy a couple PSA tens and just kind of see what the difference is. Here's Bagwell in a '92 Fleer. This is a second year Bagwell. Um, love this one. So another nine. This is cool. 92 tops, Tony Gwynn in a 10. Looks like he's just hitting a BP before a game. One of the most consistent hitters of all time. We have a Power Zone Otani from Stadium Club 10. Nothing too exciting with this one. This is cool. Um, these were just from boxes, so. Pack Fresh Roberto Alomar 88 Don Russes from right in the middle of the Junk Wax era. Um, actually, kind of more of the start. I don't know what people classify as the start of Junk Wax. I'd, I'd say like 87, just because 87 tops just screams Junk Wax. But a couple nines. Here's Griffey. Love that uh, sliding picture. That's a nine. Um, Maddox ninety one Fleer in a nine. Maybe the center on the back. I don't know. Kirby Puckett nineteen ninety score. Kind of like a dream team insert. Not. It's it's part of the base set. It's just a. Uh, not like the true base card, but pretty neat. 92 tops, Frank Thomas in a 10. Here's an 87 Don Russ, Ricky in a 9. So we're going right through the, the junk wax right now. Here's a, a beautiful Donnie baseball in a 10. 1990 Fleer, which I don't think that's too tough of a set. Eighty-nine Don Ross, Bo Jackson, nine. Here's a Schmidt, eighty-three Don Ross, and an eight. Love the look of the 83 Don Russes, though. Here's a Sosa Bowman rookie, mid nine. He's got the uh, Pedro Jerry, Jerry Curl puffing out there. Here's an 88 Fleer Brett, nine. Random uh, vintage card, 63 tops maze and a six. That's that's pretty good. Um, not the strongest centering, but it it is a six. So here's a Lindor eight on these. So these draft papers are tough. 
and Barry. 93 tops Barry in a 10. Continuing on. Grab a drink of water. Ninety eight score, Randy Moss. Another nine on this one. This is a cool one. Fleer Tradition, nineteen ninety nine, David Ortiz in a nine. Couple of Taylor Trammels. We'll just go through these kind of side by side. Um, 2016 Bowman Chrome Draft. He's on now with the Padres, but here's a couple of tens on these. I think if your front's not scratched and you don't have like corner white on the back, you should be pretty good on these ones. But there are a lot I see that look pretty rough. Um, here's a Joe Adele. I got this in a pack, so I think it's out of five, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I actually I, I actually bought this row. I didn't get it in a pack. I don't know why I said that. Uh, it's it's out of five though. It's the uh, red shimmer from nineteen Bowman Bowman. But cool card. Another Trammel on a ten. Your Bowman Chrome Draft issue. Joey Bart Aqua, in a ten out of one twenty five. It's an interesting one. Austin Meadows. I think there's a couple of these. Yeah. So a couple of Austin Meadows. I don't know what the value is on these. Maybe like 12 bucks or something. But here's a couple tens. Um, from 2018 Topps Heritage High Number. Here's a Gliber. Heritage High Number Rookie Performers insert. Pretty neat card. Senzel. This is paper. Uh, Vlad Jr. Couple tens on these. So this, this, uh, New stuff just gets graded so easily. I don't know. Here's a 10 on the Meadows. So Most of the reveal videos online, you'll see stuff like this. Here's some Christian Pachés. Um, 110 and 19. And it's from 2018 Bowman. This is the Prospects Chrome. Um, he should be up next year, so we'll kind of get a, a look at him. Don't know what they'll do. Put him in center and keep Acuna in left. But uh, pretty interesting to see that. Here's a Tatis paper. That's pretty. That's cool. Bowman 16 paper. Um, then Wander Franco. We've got a few of these. So this is the Scouts Top 100 Chrome. Here's a couple tens. Pretty good shine on these pups. And then another one on the 10. So these uh, newer cards, I think, get a lot more leeway. And then Lindor, 15 Bowman Chrome Base Auto in a mint 9. All right, let's continue on now. All right, continuing on. Got some Ken Fleers coming up, so there's a mint nine. Um, that one's off center, pretty bad. So I think one of my main issues with grading is not looking closely enough at the centering, which seems pretty silly. But I've definitely seen some traces of that in these orders. So um, 
Got to definitely improve on that. So here's the Griffey 89 or the 1990 Donner, excuse me, second year with the uh, spring training photo and a nine. Some more Fleer Kens. You got an eight and a nine. So I mean, you get an eight in this card. You're not doing very good, in, in my opinion. Um, you should be getting a nines and then may maybe some tens sprinkled in if you're looking over your cards good enough. So um, eight and a nine. Couple more, um, more nines. So um, that's kind of what it's hard to, for me to find tens when I buy the lots from people because they've been picked over so so well. But it seems like I can sift out a, a lot of the, the mid nines. So drastic color differences in these two photos here. Um, a lot darker on that left one. So when you're buying a copy of a card like this, you can kind of look through and find one where the color meets your eyes. Like I, I would. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would pick this one instead of this one if I was buying this for my PC, but something to consider. Um, we got some Fleers, so mid nine on the Fleers. This is uh, true junk wax, but to me it's nostalgia wax. A couple Fleer mid nines. I like that card. It's a cool photo, like an empty stadium during batting practice. Mint nine on this one as well. Um, we've got some more Bowman Griffey. So if you watched, um, I think it was my last order. It was just nine city. I think I got 29s in a row on these. So here's some more of these pups. Here's an eight sprinkled in. And uh, I bought a lot from somebody. And they all just looked good. Like not perfect, but they looked really good. So that's where a lot of these came from. Here's an eight. Here's a nine. Um... Yeah, the 8 and the 9 looks look exactly the same, so <laughs> I don't know. Here's an 8 and a 9. Might be the top to bottom centering on this one. That's kind of like jagged cut. This is a weird cut, but that's pretty bad there. See that right? A lot thicker. So Here's some more mint 9s on the Bowman. So... I don't think I've ever sent this in and gotten a 10, but I've gotten a bunch of 9s. Another 9. Another PSA 9. And another 9. So... Last one of this card, another nine. So, um, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd have to compare it to some of my PS. I have a couple PSA tens at home, and just kind of compare the two cards and see what the uh, differences are. <clears throat> Here's a Pete Alonso finest in a ten. I think this set's pretty easy. If it's scratched, don't send it in. If it's not, send it in. <laughs> Thick card stock. Not thick, but tough card stock. Kind of like Topps Chrome, so I'm not going to see those little uh, dents and problems you'll see with uh, like base flagship tops. And of course, Moss Bowman Chrome 98 in a mid 9. Moving on. This is like the, the junk wax order. Um, this is cool though. 92 tops Maddox in a 10. Here's a Bond. This is the 1990 Bowman in a 9. So Got some Tatises coming up. Uh, five of these, I guess, with the, the Chromes. And, and um, I only sent these in if they looked, you know, really good. Because a lot of them have chipping on this back bottom where it's black and then a lot of them are just scratched to hell like a, like they were play toys for a cat so um and i don't think psa grades these that tough either you just see a ton of tens but this set is somewhat tricky i mean i think 2016 bowman chrome lends to a lot of problems here's a 10 on this one so um Doing well on the Tatises, but here's a couple more we'll look at. Um, 
modern cards like this though as we've stated before they're not nearly as difficult as the uh, junk wax stuff so Tatis Bowman Chrome rookie and a 10 so nice job on those ones um I'm at Rosario who did show some flashes this year this is his uh, Bowman Chrome prospect auto refractor out of 4.99 and a 9 this set's really tough guys the scratching on the surface card just come out of the pack with little uh almost like a little film residue on the surface or something but mint 9 on the Rosario um strawberry <laughs> this will be interesting yeah it's hard for me to determine this set but um an 8 on straw and of course he's got the 83 tops traded I believe but this would still be considered a rookie just not a not the XRC. Uh, Donnie Baseball in an 8. I think this is centered pretty poorly, so bad job on my part. I think there's not enough border on the right here on the Donnie. But it's a pretty big card in a 10. Uh, Correa. There's a, there three of these ones. So Heritage Minor Leagues. The red sleeves, I think that just means, you know, the red sleeves, but the uh, base version, there must be like a variation going on with this one. But mid nine on that one. Uh, there's a couple more of this card. Couple tens. Um, this was cool because it's the gold signature, and those are somewhat difficult to pull in 95 Collector's Choice. So Barry Bonds, gold signature, and a mid nine. Pretty cool. I think this was just off a of Com C for like five bucks. But that'd be a great card for a Bonds collector. Another Bonds mixed in. This one got an eight. That's pretty shabby. It's a little rough. So Bonds Prism 95 and an eight. This is a nice one. Uh, 99 tops, David Ortiz in a 10. Here's a 99 Ultra Griffey in a 9. This was just out of a pack. Um, yeah. Here's a Pucket. And a Mint 9. So that's, that's pretty good. That's all I can really ask for with this card in this set. Um, and I don't think it looks like a 10 either. Because it's not centered good enough. It, it needs to be pretty much 50 50 in my eyes to be a 10 and top to bottoms off too so 85 donuts bucket and a nine and an eight so that's kind of what i expected um yeah it's all center top to bottom pretty bad so pretty accurate there with the buckets neat card though i do prefer the 85 tops though to the donuts here's altuve tops update same set as the trout much cheaper card <laughs> um, and then Korea Heritage 15 base and a 10 so doing pretty good uh, Sandberg 91 Bowman Ryan Sandberg and a 10 that's a neat one Maguire 1990 Fleer, some some random junk wax cards got sent off. Um, I don't know if that's on the card or the slab, but that's interesting. So there's a few of these. Uh, Nolan Ryan. So here's a ten of this one. The 91 tops card number one. There's the up and down view of that one um and then there's a couple more of this card so a couple nine so this is like an all junk wax box oh no there's some modern coming up uh tony gwynn 91 tops gwynn in a nine it might be that stain on the back I and mean, then that's enough for me for not to be a 10. 
Here's Bonds. That's a cool one. 91 tops, card 570 and a 10. Uh, Piazza. This is a neat one. So a third year Piazza, Flare 94. That might be my favorite year of Flare. Just, I'm just talking about the base cards look great in 94 Flare. For inserts, I'd say 97 because I've got the hot gloves with those flames. Uh, All-Star Griffey, tops 91, number 392. And I would say all this junk wax was just stuff I got out of packs. That's kind of fun breaking the packs, trying to find the, the gems. Here's a Samber. This is cool. 94 flare and a 10 and these have scratches on the back on uh, most of them so I, I didn't send those ones in so I tried to send the best best cards of the of the Hall of Fame players in uh, Beltre this is a really tough set I think this is a pretty big card in a 10 it's got the black borders um, very hard to get a 10 so a really solid nice looking mint 9 that's awesome future Hall of Famer as well so we'll see on that front uh, Acuna we got the paper 2017 Bowman paper and then um, Bowman draft paper so a couple of Acunas those were tens what else is over here this is a neat one this is um, Bowman's best 2017 this is the gold refractor to 50 it's numbered right there at the bottom um, and a PSA 10 on this one not a tough set, though. So, still a cool card, though. Uh, Wander Franco. Here's a couple papers. PSA tens on the paper from 2019 Bowman. Now, it's, here's some Acuna's, um, and these are like 90 to 95 percent pop. So. Um, just one of the easiest sets of all time. <laughs> Top Scrum update. Just the quality control is fantastic. So the update. I don't. I don't love the photo, but I like the Top Scrum one. Here's another update in a ten. I think this card's about thirty-five to forty-five in a ten. And then raw, maybe ten bucks. But I haven't checked the the raw market on these in a while. And then um. Another Wander Franco. This one's in a 10. Okay, Roger Clemens. This is a neat one. 91 tops in a 10. It's like standing at the, uh, the left field wall, I think. At Fenway, here's a George Brett and a nine from 1990 Donruss. So, what's a card like this worth? Uh, I'd say five or six bucks plus shipping. So, you might lose a buck or two if you're selling them. But here's a Donnie baseball. Top to bottom is what always gets me with this set. But here, here's a ten. So, <laughs> I don't get tens on 87 Donruss pretty much ever. But Here's a Donnie Baseball 10. I do try though all the time. Um, Tome. 2000 tops Jim Tome in a 10. Or excuse me, mid 9. 87 Fleer Schmidt, mid 9. Might just be a tad bit off centered there from left to right. Here's a Chipper Bowman's Best Blue. Blue just means the, the base version, so. Best blue chipper in a nine. We've got a cool one coming up of two Hall of Famers. One future Hall of Famer, but Larkin and Jeter, 94 Bowman's best. Um, I actually kind of like this card because both players are good. So, mid nine on this one. Here's a Vlad Paper from 2016 Bowman in a 10. And these are thinner card stock. Card stock, excuse me. Um, prone to little dings and dents that if you sometimes if you don't hold them in the light you won't see them and you'll 
end up getting eights and even sevens at some time. So I would be careful sending stuff like this in. Look your cards over good. Try to find a good light and maybe a small like five times or ten times magnifier. Uh, 30th anniversary, Vlad Jr. and a 10. I'm not really a huge fan of that set. Here's a Larkin. Um, maybe somebody can tell me what I'm missing on this card. Because, I mean, all the even 10s I've seen have this little white at the top. It's just the way they were cut. They all have that white on the edge. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe a little surface thing there. But this is a, a set that... Mostly all the cards look pretty, pretty good straight from the pack. Bowman's best Griffey and a nine. That's the the red one. So I'm thinking the the American League had a red background and NL had blue. I don't know. 89 Donruss, Ricky Henderson. Here's a nine with the stirrups. That's an interesting card. Here's Matt Chapman. Tops update Matt Chapman rookie. Not sure what this card's valued at, maybe 30 bucks. But here's a 10. 2017 Tops update. This was from a pack. Pretty cool. 94 Bowman's Best Lofton Red Refractor. Pretty neat. Nice shine, too. Uh, Brendan Rogers. Bowman Chrome Draft. We'll kind of see what the future holds for him. He got hurt this year. He didn't do much in the majors, but short sample size. Um, I'm going to save that one. I'll, I'll show that in a, in a minute. Uh, Tatis, top 100 from 2019 Bowman. And that is a 10. Here is Mancata. Glove closed just uh, means the base version, but he had a big season. His hobby hasn't really quite taken off, but it might be because he's on... A team that was a loser. Um, but this is the update base rookie in a 10. Very cool. Yohan Mankata. I think he hit 315 this year, which is pretty remarkable. Um, here's a Soto 2018 Bowman Prospects Chrome in a 9. Cool photo. Then a couple of these. Um, We've got, I love this one, Ultra Jim Tomei in a 10. 93 Ultra Jim Tomei. And probably came out of the same box, but here's Piazza second year. And that, that would be a Tomei third year. His rookie's at 91. So Piazza, looks like he's uh, going up for a foul ball in that photo. And then this was just filthy. So I actually got this in a pack. If you, I, I didn't film the break, but I got this in a pack. I just had a box of 98 Bowman Chrome sitting around, and I broke it. Shocked to pull this one, but the International Refractor of David Ortiz. David Ortiz um, says Refractor right there. But this one got a mid-9. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Cause it's not a perfect card. It's a little scratching on the back, but not bad at all. So, David Ortiz, International Refractor, Mint 9. Beautiful car. He's got those cool uh, Nike cleats on. All right. All right, continuing on. Fleer, Roger Clemens, rookie, 1985. Of course, it's not the 84 update, but the 85 is still cool. Mint 9, this one was bought raw. Looks like it's got some tilting. Like the card's almost not, I don't know how to explain it, but I see it sometimes in, with 1980s baseball cards. But 85 Fleer Clemens and a 9, that's, that'll go to the PC. Um, we got some tops ones coming up here. So this was rough, but I mean, this card probably shouldn't have gone out. I think I started churning a little bit, but the top to bottom is brutal. So, oh well. Put it in the store. Um, here's an eight. This one actually looks pretty good centering wise. I think the surface, yeah, there's like some dots, but presents very well for an eight. So Clemens in an eight, uh, Oriole. This was, I think from a pack possibly, but 85 tops, Hershiser rookie and a nine, um, vintage. 
Hank Aaron, 1960 tops. Love this one. It, it's classic, so this is a six. Beautiful. And 1968 in a four. So a little shabby there. Creased going through his arm right there. Centering's fantastic. Um, definitely not that valuable in a four, but will probably make a great addition to somebody's collection. Um, this one's off top to bottom, I can see. Pretty bad, but it doesn't look all that bad. A PSA 4 on the 64, so. Not bad. Will Clark, Donna's rookie. Check, t check the top to bottom. Yeah, it's off a little bit. It's so hard to find these cards centered straight from the pack, and then you got to watch out for the chipping and the white and little dings and dents. So, nine's actually <laughs> really good for this set. Uh, Master Blaster Bow, just like a low end 20 cent card. It's probably worth 15 or 20 in a 10, though. PSA 10 on that one. Vlad Jr. This is a top 100 chrome and a 10. Great shine on these. They don't sell too well on the uh, secondary market. Here's an Anthony Davis Elite Rookie. Uh, I thought it was numbered. Yeah, it's numbered on the front. Five ninety nine. So twenty twelve Elite. Nice card. Um, this is a nice one. Bowman Chrome. LeBron James Rookie in a nine. So fantastic. Here's the back of this one. Beautiful. Here's a tops one, and that one got a ten. That's awesome. It's a little off centered though, don't you think? The right to left. Do you guys think it's good enough? I don't know. Wade Boggs, Don Russ rookie, nine. Typically these are always off centered, right to left, so. I've even gotten a couple tens when they were off centered, so I don't know. <clears throat> I think it just depends on the grader in the day on that card if you get a nine or a ten. Uh Mancata, finest, seventeen base and a ten. Nothing too exciting with that one. Here's some more Mancatas. Um this is the Prism Refractor from seventeen Top Scrum. That's a ten. And the gold. So that one's out of 50. Beautiful. Here's the same card in a 9. So a 9 and a 10. Out of 50. And Mancada's Prospect Auto in a 9. I believe this was a Beckett 9 snap out. Could have been a 9.5 as well. I, I, don't, I don't remember. But a nice solid mid 9 on that one. Um, Vlad Jr. Prospects Chrome. His Bowman Chrome rookie in a 10. I think this set is somewhat uh, difficult compared to other years of Chrome. Lots of scratching on these on the front. And then this lends to white chipping on the back. So I mean I would, I would look these over pretty well. And then uh, same set, but Moncada in a 10. Okay. Okay. So this is a pretty big card in a 10. I think it's 100 to $125. And these are just straight from packs. So they came out of the pack looking nice. This one's got 55, 45, right to left, center, and top to bottom looks 50, 50. Um, just pack fresh cards. Honestly, I've figured they would give these nines. They they usually make these pretty tough to get tens. Keep the pop low, but they they handed out two tens, so they were feeling uh, generous with these. I uh, I also send in the Frank Thomas from this year. And it looks exactly like these, and it, they get nines most of the time, so I don't know what the difference is. Um, so, pretty cool. Ten on those rookie cups. 
this is a huge card in a 10 too. Baseball's best. So just a clean copy. This edge, I don't know. There's a little chipping it looks like, but Mint Nine is very good in this card for sure. And Donruss. So this is an eight. I typically get nines on this card. So I must have gotten a little bit loose with the submitting. That happens sometimes. I get a little loose with the standard. So an eight on the rated rookie can. Uh, another one, an eight. So that centering's pretty bad. So just gotta pick the pick cards to send in a little bit better than that. Um, this card is in an eight's probably worth about seven bucks plus shipping. So you're looking at breaking even. And then a mid nine, so that one's beautiful. The centering looks almost 50-50. Top to bottom looks good. Um, that, that's got qualities of a 10 for sure. Wow. So, tough to get a 10 on that card. <coughs> Here's a Griffey 93 tops. And a 9. Continue 9 with the Junk Wax run. Uh, Mancata, I like this one. Stadium Club Chrome. I got this off Comsy for like a dollar, but it looked pretty good. Here's Vintage, a random Mano 57. Uh, the focus on that is really blurry, and of course you got the guy in the background. Um, but the centering on this one is really good. It's almost as good as the SGC 35 I have in my P my PC right now. So I might I'm, I'm gonna keep this one. Um, Love the uh, centering on this one. So 57 tops and a four. Beautiful. Oh, uh, there's the back. That's a classic man. We've got a Griffey pre-production. So kind of like a promo, I think. 93 tops and a nine. So These would be nines, I bet. Top straighted. Um... They look pretty good. I, I don't know. This isn't the toughest set from this year at all. I think the pop's like 30 or 35 percent, but a couple nines on the top straighted. And it looks like there's more. I don't know if they just gave these all nines. That happens sometimes when they see a bunch of the same card, they just give the same grade. <laughs> I think I got 20, 20 to 25 B Bowman 89 Griffies and nines in a row. Which is pretty crazy. So, some more nines on these. Um, that one's a little off center, and I guess that one is too. I don't know. These will be nines too. So, I guess they're all nines. Which I don't mind. And they they gave a ten out on this one. So. Okay, so this one's a 10. But if I went like that and showed it to you guys, you'd be like, oh, it looks like a 9 too. <laughs> um, love this one. This is a higher valued card. Skybox Thunder Rave Moss. In an 8. So it's numbered on the back there to 150. Beautiful. Little edge chipping. But there's also a uh, Super Rave to 25. Don Russ Griffey in a nine. So I think the two biggest things to look for if you are trying to grade this uh, junk wax is you got thin, flimsy cardstock, so a bunch of deceptive things, and uh, look at your centering pretty closely because I think that's my main issue is the centering. This is the Star Rookie Silver. It says it right there, but it's out of 99, so... Just a parallel off the base rookie. Beautiful Peterson for the PC. Um, Tony Gwynn Don Russes, so this one's got fantastic centering. This centering looks better than some of the tens I've seen, but I'm guessing there's something else that uh is going on with the card, because there are more aspects to a card than just centering, and that's why I can't I I can't um, examine the card when it's in the slab and honestly give you a a uh, reason why. That's why crossover grading to me is just makes zero sense whatsoever. 
So Tony Gwynn Fleer in a nine. Um, and this isn't the toughest set because Fleer did a pretty good job with this set, but it is tough to find them centered. And then um, a second nine, so. A lot of the lots that I buy, I think, are collectors that looked the cards over and didn't think they were had any chance at a 10, but I don't mind buying those and trying to get 9s because there is some value in 9s. Not everything has to be a 10. Um, Tony Gwynn in an 8. The Fleer Rookie. A couple more of these. Oh, a lot, of, a lot more of these, so a couple more 9s. And these are all centered pretty well. This one not as good as the previous ones I've shown. That's I think that's almost 70-30. Here's some more. Um, this one's a 9. And they gave this one a 10. The corner doesn't look that great. I don't know. It, it seems pretty random. Some of those nines look, look better than this one, but they decided to give this one a 10. And this one a 9, so. <clears throat> Fleer. This is a neat one. A second year Gwen. He was thin. He used to steal bags, too. So 84 Fleer. And a 9? I, I like that photo, too. And there's the back of it, kind of like a blue background. Uh, we got some multis. So, much easier to get tens on the smolts because it's a card that's not as highly sought after or valued. So, I've gotten tens on this probably like five times now. Um, it looks exactly like that Griffey 9 that, that looks clean, but it's just a player that's not as. Uh, that card's worth 25 bucks in a 10, not 350. Edgar. Second year Edgar in a nine. <laughs> Just, I don't know why <laughs> this got sent in, but he is a Hall of Famer and he looks like uh, Mario from Super Mario Brothers a little bit. Okay, this is pretty rare to get this, but Don Russ, a 9 OC. And uh, is it the top to bottom? Is it right to left? Looks fine. So I think they, that just got randomly put on there. They're in a hurry though, they're trying to rush these orders out. Uh, here's an eight on Boggs. Don Russ Boggs, um, Sandberg rookie, that's cool. So there's a lot of awesome classic 80s rookies in here. Here's a 9 on the Sandberg. I think my favorite Sandberg rookie would be the Tops. It's also the toughest. And here it is, probably an 8. Yeah, it's, it's just tough. Um, this is uh, one of the better copies that I came across over the summer. So, I mean, it's just an 8. Maybe that surface little... Such a cool card, though. Um, Tony Gwynn Donruss. A couple of these, the like eights on the Donruss Gwynns. And this one got a 10. That's pretty cool. That one actually looks pretty good, too. And then this one got a nine. And then um, 10 on this one, so. The nine and the 10 look the same, so there you go. Oh, this card's filthy. Ultimate Collection Calvin. I think he'll be a Hall of Famer. He was pretty dominant in his, uh, I think he played nine seasons, but Ultimate Collection out of 99 in a PSA 9, so love this one. I'm just holding it this way so I can put the pop to the left. <laughs> so, um, this is a tough set for me, Archive Soto. In the past, I've gotten a bunch of nines on these, which this should be one of the easiest sets you can come across with white on the front. Um, not too much can go wrong with this, so. Tens on the archives, Sotos. 
There's some more. Here's a nine on this one. This will be a nine, yeah. Fleer update bonds. Mid nine. A couple more of these. I'm I'm sure there'll be nines. So the update bonds is in the nines. <clears throat> I think that card's around fifteen to twenty in the nine, and then about 125 to 150 and a 10. Here's the Fleer one. This is a very strange set to me. Because these come out of the pack looking crispy almost all the time. That one's got a little uh, dot on the left. So that one's totally understandable. That one's a little off center. So a uh -uh. couple nines on the Fleer. Love that card. And there's more coming up. I went crazy with the 80s rookies, but. Here's some more. Here, this is a nine. That one looks really good. The back maybe. No, the back looks good. That that one presents like a ten. It's a little off center though, but there's an eight, top to bottom. See how that border is kind of thin, that little blue strip. That's kind of how I judge this set. And then this one, an eight as well. Little uh, line right there on the left. I think I was looking for a, a nine on that one. And here's a couple more, probably some more nines. Yep. That one looks really good too. Okay. More nines. Um, Bonds Donruss. This will be interesting. So Bonds Donruss. Kind of like a glossy finish on the surface. Here's a nine and an eight. That one's off centered. Another eight, so I mean that's that, that's pretty bad for this card. I I don't think this is one of the tougher cards from '86 at all. So rough. And then finishing off with a couple nines, so somewhat respectable. Okay. Next box. <clears throat> Oh, oh, this is sweet, guys. Jeter Bowman, 94. Um, got this out of a pack. A little touch of white on that left corner. So I'll have to look at it closely. If it looks more like a 9, I'll just sell it. But it got a 10. So Jeter Bowman, 94, and a 10. Um, Moss Skybox, premium rookie, and a 9. Love that one. EX 2001 Moss, and a 10. Beautiful. Rivers, 2004 tops in a 10. LT, the uh, Rookie Watch, 2001 Upper Deck, mid 9. This is a neat one. Bowman Foil Jeter in a nine. This came from a pack too. Okay, so it's some tops Jeters from 93. I think the rest of these are. Most of them. <coughs> so I did, I saw some of these. I, I did pretty bad on these guys, so it's a little embarrassing, but I'll show them. Here's some nines, which is good. I think I was shooting for mostly nines and a couple tens. But some eights sprinkled in there. So there's some eights. And that one almost looks like a reprint, but I, I totally get why that's an eight. The color is just so faded. It looks bad. It's another eight. And these were all bought from the same guy. <laughs> I bought like 15 or 20 in a lot. So that one got an 8 as well. Um, that one got a 9 OC. Top to bottom, yeah, that makes sense. Some more 8s, so... These were just rough. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know what an 8 in this is worth. Probably the cost of grading, so... 
still a classic card. And then an 8 on this one. And a 9 OC again. This one got an 8. And this one got a 9. So that was rough. <clears throat> Jeter 93 tops did not work out. But this was nice. Jeter upper deck. Mint 9. Um, Soto archives and a 10. We saw that previously. Sosa, top rookie, and a 9. And 87 Fleer Clemens in a 9. All right, so this box has the ones that were not slapped. We'll show those in a second, but for now, we'll get to these. Um, Julio Jones, this is the exquisite collection. Uh, kind of like a logo patch, I don't know. Not the coolest card, but interesting card for sure. Out of 99, at PSA 8, thicker card, tougher to grade for the most part. Um, this is a really nice one. This was a Beckett snap out. Looks like there's something on the surface of it, though. I don't know if that's just uh, filming from the, the Mylar sleeve or what, but looks like the surface has an issue now, which is pretty unfortunate. But the LT with the bolt, it's 500 and a mid 9. Love that one. Um, Charles this is a nice one. This is the SP Authentic Gold. Out of 25. Let me turn this fan off. All right, next junk wax. The Henderson Bowman from 91, PSA 10. 20 cent card, probably turned into about, I don't know, 15 bucks. This is beautiful. So Ultimate Collection Peterson in a 9. Um, definitely a more challenging set than many may believe. But um, yeah, very stoked for this one. So Mint 9. And another one. Another 9. So these were either snapped from Beckett 9s or Balt Rock. I honestly can't remember. But... Really nice to get nines on these. And an eight, so eight's totally cool too. Um, just kind of wanted them slabbed. So the Peterson Ultimate Collections, 1099. Love that one. Probably top three Peterson rookies right there. Here's the stuff that didn't get slabbed. Uh, they pulled this minimum size requirement on some of them. So let's see. Uh, some of these will just go to SGC because they don't do that. So a nice Hank Aaron 67. This was a pro debut from 2015 out of five of Lindor. They got the minimum. Um, this is the Chrome to 9.99. Vic, blue. Uh, Rosero Manning, got it. That's a neat one. So a lot of SGC cans. This one's miscut. 61 tops, Hank. I like how that's tossed in so the corner's like hitting the edge so the corner gets dinged too. Um, these are just thrown in here. Minimum size zero of Ahmad Rosario. This Roger rookie. Evidence of trimming on the Fred. Interesting, somebody would trim this card. So, SP Authentic Fred and then Bowman Chrome. Uh, Lindor so lots of stuff for SGC to look at which is the uh, only positive of that so we'll put that to the side get to the slabbed cards get to a fresh box uh, 
Uh, Acuna, 2017 prospects, Chrome in a 10. Um, a little more tricky than you would think. I think 17 is easier than 16, and then I think 18 is easier than 17, if that makes sense. But lots of scratching on these if you, if you buy them raw on eBay. That's what I noticed. So Soto in a 9. That's the Bowman Prospects Chrome. Here's a cool one, Barry Bonds. Just a card from a pack, so 91 Bowman, Junk Wax, uh, Bonds Base in a 10. Cool photo. Um, some Sotos, these are the archives, so we'll flip through these re relatively quickly. Um, a 10 and a 9. There's a lot of these, sorry guys. Couple tens, ten and a nine. I think top to bottom is off on the nines. Thicker card stocks, strong card stock, so shouldn't be too difficult. But here's some more nines. Nines will probably sell for about, I don't know, seven bucks, seven to ten bucks plus shipping. So you're looking at breaking even on the nines. Here's a ten and a nine. more nines so and an another nine so um yeah got a lot of nines on the archives here's some bonds top traded I'm, I'm sure these will be eights and nines this is tough so here's a nine to start us off Oh, that's a beautiful copy. Centered right to left, top to bottom looks good. Minimal chipping. This this could be a ten on a different day. I, ha I have a couple tens at home of that, so I have to compare the ten and the nine. Um, here's another nine. Let's see if, how this one looks. This one looks good too. First thing I look at is these white borders, the right to left, but nice. Um, here's a ten. So they gave this one a ten. I think that's a pretty big card in the tent. I don't know, maybe 120 bucks or so. So, a 10 on that one. Um, they were feeling generous, so here's another 10. I don't know what the pop is on this. I want to say 15% or so. So, the one before this looked nicer. This the, the centering is good, but there's a little white in that corner. And then here's a nine, so. To me, they all look the same, the nines and the tens, but maybe you guys see something I don't. I, I know it's hard for you guys when you're not in person looking at them in the slabs. And even for me, to properly evaluate a card, I can't do it when it's in a slab. It just, you can't see the surface. You can't see all aspects of the card. So once it's in the slab, it's in the slab. We're not going to go back on it. Um, Gliber. That's an update. Ten on that one. Um, here's uh, for the Manny collection, 2002 tops. This was from a pack. <laughs> so I just pull aside the card, the players that I like. For when I break these old boxes, and you know if they look nice, I'll try to send them in. Most of the time, they've got like snowing or ding corners, but every once in a while, some cards look really clean from the packs. Here's a Schmidt 82 Donruss in a nine. That's a nice one. Got like two bats in his hand or something. Um, this is a decent card in a 10. So another pack pull. Tomei. Beautiful. Bowman 91. Here's Musina, which is actually the best card in the set now. I think this is over $100 in a 10. And here's a Mint 9 version. Fleer 91. This is we're really uh, dumpster diving here. 91 Fleer, Dave Winfield. 10 though. I mean, what what will this sell for in the store? I don't know. 
I would say anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. I would, I'd try to get closer to 20 on it. I'm sure it'll be somebody who's like a super collector of Winfield. This is a neat one, though. Leaf 1990. Classic set. He's a big dude. How tall is he? 6'6", six, six, yeah. He's like a judge. S similar to judge, just not as heavy. Here's a Ripken 88. This is a weird set to me because the cards all look great out of the box. But they're not um, as easy to slab as you would think. It's probably centering. This is cool. Bernie. So I was looking for a, a 9 or a 10 on this one. So got a nice 9. Mint 9 on the Bernie rookie. With the braces. Here's Mad Maddox. Bowman 91 and a 10. So doing pretty well on the 91 Bowmans. This is a little shaky. Um, an 8 on this one. Griffey and Bonds. This is like a $30 card and a 10. So, And an 8. What's it worth? I don't know. 5 bucks maybe. Here's a 10. Yeah, I think it's the, t the top to bottom centering on this one. Tony Gwynn, and I think Fleer 91 is one of the easier sets from this year. And I actually sold an Ozzy Smith and a 10 for like 30 bucks. So, I mean, there is value. I, th I think you got to wait for the right buyer to come along. You know, if you if you run them in auction, they're not going to sell for much. But you just, you just got to wait on them. Jack Morris, so the newly enshrined Hall of Famer, I believe. 82 Don Russ in a 9. Not bad. So Trout finding space, 10. Nothing too exciting with that one. Chipper Donruss, 9. Love this card. It's it's not a rookie, but it's got the, the logo by it. Chipper's rookie's 91. Uh, Julio Rod Rodriguez, one of the bigger prospects from 2019 Bowman. The uh, photo on this always cracks me up because it's a little bit blurry. I think Topps just picked a weird photo. So, Rodriguez, 10. Uh, Sandberg, this one got the mint 9. That's a photo from the uh, the Home Run Derby. They used to, I, I just know because uh, he does not have his helmet on. I think he won it. I don't know. I'm just talking. I think, or Cal Ripken. Um, these look great. These 1990 tops cards when they're slabbed, nines and tens. So here's Kirby in a ten. That's sweet. Joey Bart, a couple of these. So Joey Bart pro debut in a ten. And Vlad Jr. got a nine. I think his tops update photo is pretty similar to that. He's just in his pro uniform, kind of getting ready to throw to first. Last box of the order. So if you've made it through the marathon, congrats. Um, Shohei Otani Bowman in a nine. This card does, doesn't really have any value at all anymore. That card's probably worth about five or six bucks. Will Clark. So 87 Fleer. Um, I'll have to take a look at what some of my tens look like. Because I, I usually get nines on those. Here's a Pucket 88 Donruss in a nine. Uh, Mankata. And then Bowman Chrome. Ninety nine Bowman Chrome Refractor and a nine of Manny. This is a neat one. Vlad Collector's Choice ninety seven and a ten. Love these ones. Couple Bregmans, 16 Tops Heritage Minor League, one's a nine, and one's a ten. Nine 
97 Ultra. This is a rare insert. The Hitting Machines Mint 9. And Stadium Club Refractor 99 and a 9. This one has some scratching on the back. Uh, Mankata Orange to 25 and, and a 9. At 17 finest. We have got um, Hot Commodities in an 8. So pretty shabby. Here it is minor league. This might be an SP, but mid nine. Mancata. Here's a couple crime dogs from Leaf. So mid nine and mid nine. Those both look really good. Those are packed fresh from a box. <coughs> This one's sweet. Vic EX in a 10 from 2001. Beautiful. We got 94 Bowman Bonds in an 8. That's pretty crappy. I don't know what happened there. Altuve. This is a tough set. Paper, 499. Bowman Draft Blue. PSA 8. Conseco in an eight. This is just rough. I don't know what happened with this one. There's probably something ding or something on, on it. Because it's centered pretty good. And then Maguire Flair in a nine from 94. All right, last card of the order. Fred Taylor Future Watch, mint nine out of 2,000. So overall, I thought it was a good order. You know, of course. It seems like the, the Junk Wax cards are the ones that are always a little... A little shaky here and there. There's some tens that were hit, but I don't know. Kind of rough, but that's the order, guys. I hope you liked the video, and let me know what you think about this one. I'm out. Later.